everybody. Today I am here and I am giving you a twofer. Two for the price of one. I'm giving you two really easy vintage hairstyles to do with bangs. If you want to see my other videos in this series, definitely check out my bang series. It is not what it sounds like. I promise it is hair tutorials. Um, but today I'm doing two super easy styles that you will be doing on day old hair that has already been styled previously. So let's get started. So again, my hair has been pre-curled because these are styles that are meant to be done on day old hair. So first I have parted my hair pretty far over to the side and I'm just gonna take this section first and I'm gonna brush it up and I'm gonna section it off because I am gonna tease just a little bit. We want to tease a little bit so that the bobby pins stay. So I'm gonna give it a little tease on the underneath part and then a little smooth on the top part. Also make sure you don't accidentally comb your bangs in there, which I keep doing over and over. So once it's nice and smooth, I'm actually going to give it a little twist and a little push. Boop. And that's going to give it a little bit of volume. And then I'm going to use my little comby combs to stick it in place. You can use bobby pins if you want to. I just find that combs give it more of a vintage look and also hold a little bit better because my hair is thick. So then this side, I'm going to do the same thing. Somebody thinks something outside is absolutely hilarious. Make sure my bangs stay down. And I'm gonna do the same, a little bit of teasing on this side. You don't need as much on this side because you do have more hair on this side. And if you do have crazy insane thick hair, you don't have to tease really at all. Just depends on your hair. So then again, I'm gonna do the same twist and push. Floop. Sound effects definitely help. Take it from me. Comb. This is actually a smaller comb. This might not be thick enough for my hair. We'll see. Oh, yep, it's staying. Yay! Ta -da. Okay, so then down here, I'm just gonna run my fingers through my curls, just so they all lay together. But this is not meant to be a super like finished look. It's supposed to be more of a casual look. So don't worry too much if your hair isn't laying perfectly. And also be sure if you do comb the bottoms, when you put those combs in there, that you hold the top while you comb, because if you don't, you're just gonna pull those um, combs out. Then, like always, make sure you comb your bangs so they don't look insane. Mine are in need of a trim right now, but I have trimmed my last trim and I'm starting to grow them out already, so I gotta work with what I got. So this is faux rolls with bangs. I hope you like it. Super easy. It really doesn't get easier than this. If you don't want to curl your hair and you still want to do the style, you can leave the bottoms however you want. You can also pull the bottoms into buns if you want to, so that it would look a little something like oh, this if you didn't want to curl it. There's all kinds of options if you don't want to curl your hair, but this is a really good style for day-old hair that's already been curled. Okay, so now I'm gonna brush that tease out. And this second hairstyle I'm doing today is actually kind of just a throwing it in for good measure because it is so easy. And kind of obvious, I think, for um, most of us, but there's always people that things aren't obvious to. So that is what I'm here for. This is like the loosest ponytail holder in the history of the world, but that's all right, we'll work, we'll work with it. Okay, so with this style, I'm actually brushing my hair all back. And then I'm going to flip my head upside down so I can get it as high as possible. Now if your hair is curled already, you can just tie this into a ponytail if you want. Just a high ponytail. Whee! And it's super cute and swingy. However, I do not like to do that because, I don't know, I'm not much of a ponytail girl. I actually very rarely wear ponytails. I'm more of a top knot kind of girl. So that's what we're going to do. So I didn't pull the hair all the way through. And then it creates this sort of like little bun bun, bun bun. So make sure that it's even. And then I'm gonna take some bobby pins and pin it down so it doesn't do this. <laughs> so I'm just pinning the edges. Make sure you try to hide the pins. If you can't hide them, it's not the end of the world. And also try to make sure that it's even on both sides. So about here. If you want to pin the back down, you can. You don't have to. I also always put some pins back here because I do have a really low hairline and the back of my hair gets fuzzy really quickly. So I just put some back there so it stays. And then you can smooth the sides if you want to. I have so much product in my hair from previous styling that I'm not going to add more. But if you need a little wax or a little bit of hairspray, feel free to add that. 
And then smooth your bangs again so they don't look insane. I always like to use the bottom of my comb too to make sure that they're even, especially before I take a picture um, because I do get lots of comments on social media that my bangs aren't even when they are not even. So hopefully you guys find these styles useful. If there are any other hairstyles you guys want, please let me know. Leave them in the comments below as usual. And thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Be sure to check out these other videos that I have posted to see more of my wackiness. And if you want to see even more of my wackiness, be sure to subscribe for all things that are vintage and retro and general silliness.